Hey there, CJ Math students. Welcome to homework 5.3, one step equation problem solving. If you watch the video, you may go ahead and check off there. Practice, calculators are okay, it's due tomorrow. So, a small plane is flying at 1,000, uh, sorry, 150 feet. It ascends, goes up 325 feet. Write and solve an equation to find the change in altitude of the small plane. So, I wanted to know the change in altitude. So now I'm going to go ahead and write my equation. If I'm writing the change in altitude, this is going to be a subtraction equation. So x minus 325 equals 150. The altitude, I don't know. Subtract uh, what we uh, just did from that, which was ascend 325 feet, is equal to the original altitude, 150 feet. So go ahead and draw their scales of justice. See subtraction, therefore I add 325. These cancel off, so I've got x is equal to 475 feet. So my equation was x minus 325 equals 150. My variable is on the left. Uh, I see subtraction. Uh, therefore, I use addition. Um, I add 325 to both sides and get 475. Now, today I'm also going to want you to picture it. So I drew a little plane here. It's at 150, it goes up 325, looking for the change here. Um, a lot of you would be tempted just to do 325 minus 150, but hopefully you recognize that, wait a second, it's going up 150 from 325, or sorry, up 325 from 150. Um, so that's why it makes sense that we get 475. We're going to check it, right? We write our original equation, x minus 325 equals 150, uh, but erase the variable and write in our answer now. So 475 minus 325 equals 150, 150 equals 150. Correct answer, All right? Let's take a look at number two. It says, Abigail has 96 photos uh, from her summer vacation. She wants to make a scrapbook that has 24 pages with the same number of photos on each page. Write and solve an equation to find how many photos she can place on a page. I want to know how many photos can I put on a page. So, sometimes before writing an equation, it is helpful to write out a picture. Now, I'm not going to draw 96 photos, but I'm going to draw these boxes and say, all right, here's my 96 photos, and I want to be able to put those onto 24 pages, right? So it's basically, I, I got a page, and I want to say, how many photos can I put on each page, right? But they're going to be 24 of them, right? So thinking about that, it's like, all right, if I got all these 96 photos, I want to basically divvy them out to 24 pages. I, I've got myself kind of, I'm going to, I'm going to end up dividing, right? So if I'm going to end up dividing, I need to go ahead and write a multiplication equation, right? So I know I got 24 pages. I have no idea how many photos are going to be on each page. So 24 times X, but I know 24 times X, if I multiply the pages and the number of photos, I'm going to get how many photos I had? 96, right? So my equation was 24 X equals 96. My variables on the left hand side. So I see multiplication. Therefore, I'm going to go ahead and divide. So I divide both sides by 24. This cancels out because it's 1. I'm left with x is equal to 4. So it was 4 photos per page. So I divided by 24 on both sides to get 4, right? Now you need to check it, right? So you can almost imagine yourself, right, putting uh, 4 photos on one page, that's one page, and then doing that 24 times, right? Um, so check it, 24x equals 96. Now just replace the x with what your answer was. So plug in, so parentheses 4. And 24 times 4 happens to be 96. So 96 equals 96. Checked off, right? I'll do one more with you, and then I'll leave the rest to you. So it says, uh, Brenda runs four miles every day, write an equation to find the number of miles she runs in five days. So I wanted to know number 
of miles in five days. So let's picture it out. Here's Brenda. She's running, right? Um, she gets four miles in one day, right? So now figure out how many miles in five days, right? That's what we're looking for. Now, some of you are probably thinking, oh, I, you know, just multiply those two and I get 20 miles and I'm boom, I'm done, right? So if you multiply, then that means you need to write a division equation. So the total number of miles she divides by her rate, which was four per day. In fact, let me move this over a little bit. Uh, X over four should be equal to five days, right? So the miles she runs per day divided by the total miles, right? Should be equal to five. So C division. Therefore, I multiply times 4 times 4. And I end up multiplying just like I wanted to. So x is equal to 20. So 20 miles in 5 days. So my equation was x over 4 equals 5. My variable is on the left. I see, or sorry, sorry, I see division. Therefore, I multiply. And I multiply both sides um, by 4. Four and get my answer of 20. So let's check it. X over 4 equals 5, but instead of X, we're going to write my answer of 20. 20 over 4, 20 divided by 4 is 5. 5 equals 5, right? So the key thing on these guys is uh, figuring out what you want to know, drawing a picture, figuring out what the equation is, and then solving it. So please do the back. Uh, questions just like I've done. Uh, look for keywords, but definitely draw a picture. That's it. Call me if you have questions.